Hello, good afternoon. What am I doing with this stuff? Well, if you've uh, seen my bike, you'll see I've got some stickers with the blue monster logo on. And my uh, starter motor is looking a bit crap, uh, which is just how my other ones looked on my X4 Cruiser. So what I did with that was get some uh, suitably attractive beer cans and cut them down. And the good thing is you don't need to glue them on the starter motor just to cover all the crap up. Because Honda ones are 71 millimeter. How is it all? <laughs> mm, I thought it'd be just between here and there, but it's even smaller. Hmm, 71 mil, it's gonna cut that off. I'll cut it out anyway. <coughs> All you do is, because it's nice and thin, some sharp scissors. These are bandage scissors or toenail scissors. Can you see? Can you see? I'm a bit close with this helmet. Cut around there, cut that nasty top off, which we don't want. Oops, still some of that stuff left in. Cut around there. Of course, your mind for slicing your fingers with this stuff because it is very short. It's just like paper. What you want to do is cut any curved bits off like that. So I'll just trim that, get all the curved stuff off. The curved edge. It's just like a blue piece of this, isn't it? But without shape, get down shape. And the sticky back plastic. <laughs> My god, can you make it any thinner? So there we are. And like I said, it's only that bit I want. So what I intended to do was just slice it. Hmm. Point the curvature of the starter motor. It's roughly like that. Slightly bigger than the original can. So yeah, I'll cut it about 10 mil into the right in either side. And all you do get a sharp knife. I have a 12 inch steel ruler somewhere, it'd be a bit safe around my fingers. Yes, I know I shouldn't use my ordnance survey map to cut on. But it's an old one, I intend getting a new one sometime. Can you see that? As I said, the camera always seems to be at the wrong angle when I'm doing detailed stuff. Try not to slice your fingers. You could do this with scissors, I mean, it's going to be a hidden edge if it's near the bottom of the starter motor, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, hmm. Do I need the monster logo? Actually, that was slightly creased on the can. I looked through a dozen cans on the supermarket shelf in Tesco. <laughs> so these monster energy. Hello again. It doesn't seem like two minutes since I was talking to your last. Hello, Blackie. Are you helping? Goodbye, you little blicky. <laughs> As you can see, it's on. Now, I've cut a little uh, sort of thumb size curve out to fit around the rubber do for where the wire is. It's not glued, it is slightly loose. And as you can see, it's tucked down the sides about 10 mil out of the side of the mounting bolts for the starter motor. It's hardly worth bothering me because on my other bikes, the starter motor was right out here 
with a cap on the end rather than an, an integral part of the bloody engine like this is. But it sort of looks alright. Uh, the silly horn I now, I said Tarzan horn, it's now <laughs> a dog and a frog horn. I'm going to reposition that, it was here, I'm not covering up my new little jobby. So I'm going to mount that there. Not sure about that way, is it? Top or bottom. I shouldn't really bother with your, your damn thing at all. It's losing its novelty. But that's what I messed that bloody spray paint made from. Look at that. It didn't set properly. So I'm going to have to put tape on all that. Ideally, I could rub it down and spray, but I'm not pissing about with that again. It's only a crash bar. Anyway, I've got some uh, clear silicone. Just to, I'll put a little dollop underneath on the cotton bud, just to hold it. And I think I'll squidge some around the, bo the bottom of that rubber doofy. Can you see? It's going to be very dark. Can you see? Even I can't see with these glasses. Close up detail. Can you see? It's a little arc around there. Oh, it's still very hot because I just come home from work. Thank goodness that shifts so we hate six till two. Some people prefer it, but I don't. And I'll put some underneath just to sort of loosely hold it in position. That fits under there without moving it. Sort of. Mm. I could put a little dollop in each corner here because it is heat proof and it's not going to show. Oh dear, very messy. I should have got a rag. little dollop in each corner to stop it moving and like I said we're being heat proof it's not going to melt yeah getty 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 I'll rub it on my mat sad it I've got the Tarzan horn, sorry, the dog and a frog horn back in play, so make it a bit neater by rubbing it. Ouch, 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 it's getting hot. <coughs> anyway, you get the gist, don't you? I shouldn't be rubbing it on my new work pants. Right, let's have a go at this. Can't take it with silicone on my fingers. <sighs> Alright. Oh, what a mess. All that messing about I did. And I'm still finding them brass bristles. When I ground the brass bristles to grind the paint off, they keep sticking in my socks, it's, even though I've hoovered up the hooks into the bloody kitchen mats. And I keep treading on them. So that was a bad idea, making such a fuss over crash boys. Never again. Yeah, I'll be alright now, I think. loose at the moment but after about 10 wraps around it's going to be as solid as a rock solid solid as a rock oh yeah. I have to leave a gap there to 
to get the bloody roll through. We better with strips one instead of trying to revel that run. There's a wire there going into the engine, some kind of sensor. Yeah, I'll do it that way, just a few different straps. Yeah, it's still working. Anyway, you get the idea, don't you? Monster logo there. And, uh, yeah, well, I was going to put it there, but it'll look crap. So it'll do there. More subtle, isn't it? Right, so there we go. Another little idea for you. Bye for now.